Hi everyone! In this video I'm gonna compare my Flycam Nano C5 with my newly purchased Xeon Crane Gimbal. Most of the time I'm producing music videos, so therefore I'm gonna show you my last two music videos I made. One was made with my Flycam and the other one was made only using the Xeon Crane Gimbal. Both videos are meant to be rap videos. Therefore I like to have some movement or dynamic motion in my shots, which is why I bought my Flycam some months ago. I really like that I can adjust the height of the grip, so it's really convenient for lightweight cameras like the Sony Alpha 5100 or 6000. I hold it like this, and I operate with my left hand, I can turn the whole steady cam, pitch and yaw. So let's watch some actual footage I shot with this steady cam. I was really satisfied with the shots the Flycam gave me, but I was curious if an electronic gimbal could get the job done equally. So now let's take a closer look at the Xeon Crane Gimbal. The video I'm gonna show you was shot entirely in the pan and tilt follow mode. You can switch to that mode by double clicking the joystick. In this mode you can change the horizon level by pushing the joystick to the left or to the right side. I really like that Xeon added this function to its gimbal. If you watch typical gimbal footage, you will recognize that all the footage looks kind of the same, because the horizon level is always unchanged. So in some shots, I changed the horizon level and switched back to the lock mode by clicking the joystick one time. Then the gimbal is locked in this position. But that's enough talking. Let's watch the video shot with the Xeon Crane gimbal. So, as you just saw, the Xeon Crane Gimbal is a really convincing equipment. You can get nice, slow, smooth shots and fast dynamic shots. So from my point of view, the Xeon Crane Gimbal could replace your Steadicam. It really works well. The battery endurance is really long. You can shoot up to 2 hours with this gimbal. It comes with 2 packs of batteries, so you can use it 4 hours right out of the box. I'm really happy with this gimbal. I can recommend it for everyone who wants to get smooth footage. Just make sure you balanced it right and you don't exceed the maximum payload of 1200 grams. If you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. This is Zion Crane.